This is Hart, and I'm at the Earth and Spirit Center with... My name is Lena Miles, and I'm an intern here. I'm Zoe Lachlan, and I'm also an intern. So what we have here is a grape, and y'all had some questions about this? Yeah. Um, is this fine an invasive species? Well, grape is native to Kentucky, so grape is not invasive. So when you have a grape, you, you, want, to, you want to not cut it unless, unless you have to. So generally, vines, uh, what's the problem with vines? They uh, grow on top of trees and just... They just eat the nutrients away from the trees, yeah, and they like kill just it. kill it, and they just like suck at it and kill it. And, and they cover they it up and cover it. photosynthesize. It takes away, it blocks a lot of the sunlight from getting to the plants that need it just because it likes to wrap around and cover it. Right, so are, do we have a lot of non-native vines in the uh, area? Yes. Yes, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we have winter creeper, which just pulled off that tree. Yeah, we just took a vine, a vine from winter creeper down. We also have a uh, uh, Asian Japanese honeysuckle yeah, vine. Yeah, Japanese honeysuckle vine, which is a lot like winter creeper. Uh, it can it can grow on its own, and then it also can grow as a vine on a tree. So not only does it take away from photosynthesis and nutrients from a tree, but because it can grow on its own, it uh, shades other areas below it and doesn't allow for native species to grow uh, down here, like underground. So we want to cut a lot of the non-native vines that keep them from killing trees. Uh, vines like winter creeper and Japanese honeysuckle and English ivy. Uh, but this is a native vine. We don't want to uh, cut it if we can keep from it. A grape is a native species. Also Virginia creeper is a native vine. And uh, grape is number 26 on the list of the most beneficial plants and it supports 58 locally in Jefferson County it supports 58 species of butterflies and moths.